What is going on, guys, YouTube, viewers, whatever. So what's going on, guys? It's been a while <laughs> since I put out a video, and for that, I apologize. Um, the fishing around here has just been terrible. So anyway, um, today I thought I'd go over my new kayak. Yes, I got a new kayak. Um, I went away from Bonafide, and I'll tell you why. Um, Bonafides are they're, they're great kayaks. I really enjoy the two that I had, the SS-127 and the SS-107. Um, however, I do a lot of tournament fishing, so uh, not being able to have a pedal drive option um, really hurts and I can't use an electric motor in the tournaments that I fish here in Tennessee so I fish a 10 cat series uh, the trail series so uh, TNK ATT I'll leave the link down in the description below you guys go check that out if you're local around Tennessee but anyway electric motors are not are not allowed so has to be man powered uh, so I sold both bona fides and um, I ended up getting a kayak that I've been wanting for a very long time and uh, so I've done a few things to it um, added a Lowrance um, added you know kept my power pole so I put the power pole on there and by the way I will not have another kayak without that power pole that power pole has totally changed the way I fish I absolutely love it um so and then i end up wrapping it so to kind of protect it a little bit and to kind of advertise for the youtube channel so let's go over to kayak let's check it out i'm gonna spin the camera around and we'll just go over it from back to front so here we go so i end up getting the hobie pa 14. absolutely love this kayak i had to get a trailer for it um because it's heavy But check out that wrap. Daniel Baldwin at um, Fish and Kayak Wrap Designs by Daniel. Really, really hooked me up. And there's the Tin Cat sticker. Uh, but anyway, so let's go over it. I uh, got the power pole added. And um, I added some reflecting tape on there to, and my little red flag thing to keep from getting hit. Got my busy carb with the light. Um, got my paddle, of course. And then the black pack with all my tackle in there. Uh, using the planos right now. Got my camera for the over the shoulder view. So, extremely comfortable seat. You can adjust it multiple ways. It's almost like sitting in a recliner. Absolutely love that thing. Got the little ranch touch screen. Elite 7 Ti. I got side scan, down scan, and uh, 2D sonar. Um, got holds all my rods down the side, so I got six rods in here total. Uh, I've had up to eight rods in here, putting two in each um, place right there. But uh, anyway, right now I'm carrying six rods, all Dixie custom rods, of course. And uh, I've got the uh, bucket for instead of having a tackle storage i like the bucket a little bit better some leader line uh, bug spray um sunscreen pliers stuff like that cup holder gotta have my tunes my bluetooth st uh, speaker another cup holder with my jj's magic in there and it's about out actually it is out well wow. um so yeah I'm going to get some more chartreuse front facing camera powered by the uh, little portable power there of course you saw the the big camera or the camera right there in the back um there's my bucket has my soft plastic and stuff in it i take that out and put it behind the seat when i'm on the water uh i store my power pole down in the hole and then uh the other part of that paddle and then uh, the the fish finder is powered by the um 
by the battery down there from Hobie as well. Um, everything's wired up. And uh, anyway, that's pretty much, oh yeah, forgot one thing. I got an anchor wizard on the front right here. And um, I just gotta get an anchor for it. So, but that's pretty much the kayak. Um, you know, we got it wrapped with the with our sponsors, Shane's Baits, Dixie Custom Rods, um, Frontier Outdoors, and of course the T and Bassin for the YouTube channel stuff, and then uh, the Trail Series that that I fish. But uh, anyway, but anyway, that's the uh, that's the kayak. Um, keeping this one a little bit simple. Um, I've got it set up exactly how I want it, and uh, so far, it's been working out for me for the last few weeks now. Um, so, anyway, <laughs> that Hobie, I swear, I, I wish I'd bought that Hobie months or years ago, actually. I wish I wish I just bought it from the get-go. Um, I absolutely love the kayak. And it's going to be hard to go to something else unless I go to like a river boat or something, which I'm kind of looking at the native XC, uh, the native Slayer XC, the new river kayak so I'm kind of looking at that for a river boat uh, the Hobie you don't really want to take down in the river but um, anyway absolutely love it and um, you know that's that's the new that's the new that's the new rig but anyway guys trying to make some fishing videos for you it's just that the fishing has just been terrible each time I go out I've only caught like maybe one or two fish and um, you know I guess I could do a I guess I could do an episode of of struggling <laughs> what I'm doing to, to correct it but but to be honest with you I've not really figured anything out so um, it's kind of hard to put everything on camera and say well this is what I'm doing and it's not working um, don't try this so but anyway guys appreciate you watching appreciate you guys sticking with the channel um, the fish is just gonna get better as the temperatures start to drop um, we're right now in August it's like August 3rd, I think. So it's the hottest month of the year for East Tennessee. And uh, right now it's it's not really that hot, but the fishing is just still still terrible. So I'm going out tomorrow, plan on doing some filming, and um, hopefully get something figured out for the uh, river tournament next Saturday through the Tinkat, our last tournament of the season. Uh, anyway, guys, appreciate you watching. Hit the thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. You guys have a great day, and we'll see you next time.